Welcome back. Um, I am going to do a beginner's guide for Steppen for July. It's been several months since I've done my last one, the March beginner's guide. Good numbers. It actually holds up really well. I was quite surprised reading that, uh, sorry, watching it again and thinking, you know, it's done all right. But we've had a lot, a lot happen since that started. We've had a second realm added with Binance. We've got a third realm on the way. The game has had many, many updates, which have been small, big change in mechanics of how they are. So there's lots to think about. I'll get into it. I'll try to make this a sub 20 minute video and see Put down comments below extra videos you may need that I may not have. But what can you do with that? Uh, you can also go and check my YouTube, Solana Gaming with Barndog. And I've got folders upon folders of additional videos for Steppen. All of the old AMAs. The team used to do a weekly AMA for six months. Every weekend we hit the stage. Now that's gone to a monthly town hall. And the week of the recording is the next town hall due. And we're going to get a lot of information about what's happening with Realm 3. But what are we? What is Steppen? What does it do? There's a whole lot to learn. Um, and there is the website stepin.com, www.stepin.com. So you can go there, you can see some great numbers, you can see some great links, you can see how much carbon offset, distance run, how many players are in there in the discords, in the YouTubes, all those kinds of things. They've got team links and all of that. Now, Steppen is a web 3.0 game based around move to earn. So you get an NFT. What is an NFT? It stands for non-fungible token. Think of it like your character or your your game equipment that you use. So you get a sneaker in the game and you start moving. One NFT gives you 10 minutes a day of paid exercise. And you can get more. Some of us have 40 energy and we might go outside for up to three hours a day. 40 energy is a long time. So there's a whole lot, a whole lot of things to the game, but it's no longer just a move to earn game. Is it's a it's a fitness app. I can easily say that I'm a 42-year-old man, and when I first started playing the game of Steppen back in October, November, I never thought I'd be planning to run marathons, and I absolutely am. I'm one week away from my first professional uh, half marathon, my first timed marathon event here in home at Cairns in Queensland, Australia, and I'm planning to potentially do my first marathon. I'm hoping for August, or I'll do one at the Greek classic marathon where you run from the town of marathon to athens I, I was in athens earlier this year it is absolutely amazing and i am looking forward to it so on the step in home page you've got plenty of links and you've got some basic ideas and things that it goes to choose a sneaker that fits well find a sneaker from the in-app marketplace sneaker details it talks about the details equip your sneaker move outdoors burn energy and earn handsome rewards so you equip that sneaker in the game, and then you go outside. This is an outside fitness app, and I absolutely love that it is. So for me at the start, I never used to know my neighbors. I never knew my neighborhood. Now, every single day I'm outside for two to three hours. I see everyone walking their dog, the families, see myself, my steps, children, my missus. We all go around our local neighborhood. We're exercising. We're a part of the community. There's so much more to the game. It makes me excited talking about it, and you can hear that on many of the stages and events and, and things we do. You can see there's some anti-cheating mechanics, um, and you can see if you get the red moonlight moonwalking that you're not actually earning. Uh, there is lots and lots to learn about the game, and we'll try to go through that. So let's have a quick look. There are two tokens for this game, GST and GMT. So GST is Green Satoshi Token, and there is actually two different types of that. You get one on Solana and you get one on Binance. Two different blockchains, but they've got their own GST and you need to earn that GST on that realm. We call the blockchains the realms and you need to earn that. So you can see Green Satoshi token on BSC. So that means Binance. And then you can see GMT. There's 6 billion total tokens of GMT and they are linked on all of the realms. There will only ever be six tokens. It is the secondary token. It's the, it's, it's the governance token. It's also got utility. 
There is so much to this and we will learn more of it. At the moment in the game, you cannot earn GMT. You can only earn GST on Solana and on Binance and do a mystery box thing. So there are many, many levels to this game. I'll talk through a couple of them now and then show you the basics. What do you need to do? You need to get a sneaker. You need to, how do you get that sneaker? You need to put some Solana into it, those kinds of things. But there are 10 levels of mystery boxes in the game now. This was a big change that happened in the last four to six weeks, and it was massive for the game because originally there was five levels and not everybody got to play the mystery box game. So now there's 10 levels and you can get a mystery box from as little as having one NFT and two energy in the game. Now, breeding system. With the breeding system, you use two sneakers, and you mint them together and you make a baby sneaker, a third sneaker. Each sneaker can mint seven times and then they can mint no more. So every time you mint, it becomes a little bit more expensive and you need two minting scrolls to go with that. The minting scrolls come from the mystery boxes or you can buy them on the marketplace for GMT. One more function we'll talk about is the sneaker synthesis. You put five sneakers together and you mint them down into one. As you can see in the picture, so you put five sneakers, you might put five commons, mint them down and they become an uncommon. If you're lucky, it goes two levels up and it could be a rare. Big event, good system, um, and it's one of those things. Now, we wanna have a look at the uh, white paper. So the white paper is like the holy Bible in the game. The way you need to spend time to read it and it's not gonna make sense. A lot of it's not gonna make sense at the start, but you are never gonna stop learning with this game. I've played from the beginning of the game. I talk about this five days a week on Jogging with Barn Dog. You can see here the picture for that. We have one to two hours a day, Monday to Friday, since January. I do this, if you're not sure, come on to Jogging with Barn Dog. We're doing this on Twitter now. You can come on, talk to me, ask questions, and I'll happily help. But I do this a lot, and we talk about the game a lot. I learn every single day in the game, so you're never ever gonna know everything about the game, but this is a great portal to go to to be able to have a look at. You can see it goes through all the getting started, the different game fire systems, and the social fire elements will start coming through, but the main parts to have a look at, one of the really big key elements to understand is both the sneakers, and then the earning system. So with the sneakers, you need to pick the right type of sneaker. They did a really great picture here up, up with there. You can see four different types of sneakers, walker, jogger, runner, trainer. This is one of the most important parts of the game is understanding how you're going to play the game. Are you gonna go outside and walk? Is that all you wanna do is just casually walk? Are you a, a medium level of jogger? Now you can actually walk with your joggers comfortably from between five and six and a half kilometers this is my favorite shoe. I do most of my kilometers in a jogger, um, but I've pivoted more towards the running side as I've gone through the energy levels and I, I'm really finding a love for running. Four to 10 kilometers an hour, even jogging at eight kilometers isn't a super speed. It is manageable. But if your fitness is at the walking level and you're slowly trying to increase, this could be a great sneaker and you can see one, the lightning bolt means energy equals four GST per 1.0 energy. And the same can be said, one equals five. So the jogger earns a little bit more than a walker. Now the runner earns a little bit more than the jogger, but that means you're locked into eight to 20 kilometers an hour. Sounds easy for 10 minutes a day, but if you then get three sneakers and go to four energy, that's 20 minutes a day. So it's imperative to understand, can you handle 20 minutes a day? If not, maybe you should go for a jogger. Or the trainer actually has a variation. You get different levels of income with the trainer and earnings on a day. You may get a really big day, you may get a light day. Overall, it averages out somewhere around a runner. So these are a really cool sneaker and you can go with one trainer, walking, jogging, running, any speed. So you can see further down here, it says optimal speed range. So the green zone, the green zone. So you wanna stay within the green zone. If you go out of that green zone, so say for example, you've got runners, and you're just walking at four kilometers an hour for over half of it, you may be put in moonwalking and not earn any GST and use that energy. So it's important to understand where those green zones work. Picking your jogger, runner, walker, whichever sneaker you wanna use is one of the most important parts of the game. 
Now, in saying that, if you make a mistake with the first sneaker and you think, oh, yeah, I can run. I used to run 10 years ago in high school or in my 20s or whatever, and you make that mistake, you could then instead with your second sneaker purchase a jogger and go keep the runner. That becomes a part of your vault and works towards energy um, because then you can see in the white paper here the energy system. One sneaker is two energy. Three sneakers is four energy, so that's 20 minutes a day. So if you do make a mistake and misjudge how you used to play the game, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to sell that sneaker. You can instead on your second sneaker, purchase yourself a jogger and go to that. Or at the very beginning, you can buy a trainer. Trainers are the best sneaker because you can go any speed. They earn on par with a runner, but they're worth more because people see the value in them. They're very hard to mint a trainer. Normally they're a random mint and that's things you'll learn later on in the breeding system Sneakers, you can see uh, sneaker types, your abilities, commons. Uh, where is the minting system? Doo, 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 doo. It's in there. It is definitely in there somewhere. Shoe minting, there it is. So it talks about minting, minting, minting. And you'll see there's percentages. So when you do a trainer and a trainer, there's only a 25% chance that you actually mint another trainer. So getting those trainers is a bit harder. And that's why they're more valuable because they are a super cool shoe. My missus, she loves the trainers because she likes to walk a little bit slower on some days but when we're walking together and i've got a jogger she walks at my speed and, and you know we sit around that six and a half kilometers so picking the shoes important that's one of the big things from there you need to have a look at um getting started in the game so what do i do how do i get into the game app i'm going to skip a little bit of the explanation and get into the shoe but there are two chains currently solana and Binance. So you can see in my little picture here at the start. Thank you, Maddie. We've got a Solana symbol here and a Binance symbol here. Which chain you start on, that's really completely up to you. If you're just starting the game, if you're looking at getting in in Ethereum, that's the third realm. There's a lot of excitement behind it, but the shoes are going to be more expensive, you would think, than Solana and Binance sneakers. So you might not want to risk spending Ethereum there. You instead might think, okay, I'm going to go on to Solana. The floor price is about two and a half Solana at the moment. It's about $100, less than $100 for a sneaker. And you might only earn $1 to $3 a day, $20 a week on a $100 sneaker is a cool return. So what you need to do is you need to download the game from the App Store and you get that from the Apple or Google Play Store. Um, so I don't even think it has it in here. So you download the app, you install that onto your phone. You will need an activation code. You can get that from Discord. You can get it from an existing player. People give them away on Twitter every now and again. The activation code isn't hard to get anymore. There was, they definitely needed to make sure that, that there was, wasn't as many people getting in because it was just exploding back in April, May. And I think it was around March, April, they reinstituted that activation code. When you do that, you also need to create a wallet. There is two wallets in the game. There's a spendings and then a wallet. The wallet is your blockchain wallet. That is where you put your Solana or your Binance. And in that wallet, you then send your Solana to your game spendings. The game spendings is your second wallet and it's off chain. It's not on the blockchain. It's on the servers. At the moment, Solana couldn't handle having a million daily active users. That's what was our last report, one million daily active users. Solana cannot take that. So it's important that they've kept and stuck with having the game spendings. And that's where you do your daily exercise. Um, you earn your GST. If you earn a mystery box, you open that mystery box with GST and then you get gems. You can sell those gems for Solana. You can see 0.0095. We got a gem here and we sold that just a level one gem. But once you've got that Solana, you go into the marketplace, you buy yourself a sneaker of the type you want. Now, there's a reason I'll skip this. That's a big video. It is a very big video to get into. And for now, I'll talk about some basics on what to think about in a first sneaker. There's plenty of other YouTubers who have done videos on those. I'd love to do another one and talk deeper into the rates of it, but I'm trying to get a video out at a good pace. With a first sneaker, this is a really cool explanation of a sneaker, but you can see it's a level 20. So what I've done is I've gone back on the base stats, and you can see it's got efficiency, luck, 
comfort, and resilience. They're the four stats in the game. What do they do? Efficiency is the primary gem, sorry, is the primary base stat that determines how much GST you earn. The higher your efficiency, the more GST you earn per day. Luck. Luck is the blue, the luck symbol. You can see blue gem sockets here. Luck is relevant to what type of mystery box you get and what is in the mystery box you get. The other factor is how much energy goes into that session, but luck is primarily for what, how you get your mystery box and what's stored in your mystery box. It is a very important stat. Every now and again, it goes through different changes. Sometimes it's not good, sometimes it's great, but it is a absolutely good statistic to have a look at. Comfort, that is going to be used primarily to earn GMT. That is not in the game at the moment. Um, at time of recording the video, we don't know when it is going to come in the game. But the red comfort will be how we earn that. Much like GST, the more comfort you've got, the more GMT you will earn. And it's the same to go with the sneaker types. If you use a runner, you'll earn more GMT than a jogger. But that's the basics. And with the market where it is time of recording, we don't know when comfort is coming out, whether it's going to be August, September, December, 2023. We don't know at the moment. So obviously keep your eyes on the spaces and updates. Uh, resilience, the last statistic. Now you can see here only 4.9 base stat, purple socket up the top here. So resilience determines how much damage you take when you do a session. The more resilience you have, the less damage you take and the less GST it takes to repair those sneakers. So it is an important statistic, but you only need a certain amount of it in the game at the moment. In, I think it is August on the timeline, there is mention of marathon mode. I think resilience will become more important come that time of it. But at the moment, you can really use your gems to do the work for you, the main work for you. This baseline sneaker here being one purple, one yellow, two blue. This is an okay sneaker. It's got really good base stats. So gems. A lot of people still do not understand the gems, and I'll give a little bit of a quick explanation. Gems are super, super important. There's up to nine levels. I've only seen the statistics on level six gems, and they are massive. They'll give you bonuses to your base stats, and they give you a small amount of um, bonus. So these level one gems give plus two to your base stats. Level two gems give plus eight. Level three gems plus 25, so on and so forth. It goes up. It goes up till you're getting hundreds of baseline points. But they also do something called awakening. So the awakening bonus is a percentage that goes on to the base stat. So very small on level one gems. They give you a 5% awakening bonus. So 5% of 9.0 isn't a lot. But the level two gem, which gives you a 70%, so 70% of plus nine would be, um, is that 6.3? It would then add eight. So you'd get 17 points, uh, sorry, 13.3 thereabouts. Quick maths in the brain while I'm going. So you'd get 13, 14 bonus stats to efficiency with a level two gem. Now you see this little triangle at the top left-hand side. That means that socket is an uncommon socket bonus. So that means it gets more bonuses. All of these are in the white paper. But you'll see triangles go, you'll either have one or two, three or four. There's five levels of sockets. So that gives those gems a further 10% bonus. Go and check the white paper. Gems are super important to understand. Go and watch other videos. There's, there's lots to understand. But when you're buying your first sneaker from the marketplace, many, many people are thinking the same thing. What do I buy? How do I get it? What you're basically wanting at the start, if you want a GST earning sneaker, you want a good efficiency, a good luck, and a good resilience, comfort doesn't matter too much. This one just happened to have a base of nine. If you can get sockets ranging in these colors, they are good for an efficiency earner, but not necessarily a nightmare if you don't. It just means if you want to add gems and you want to go to three sneakers and or continue along to nine sneakers, maybe you want to go to 45 minutes a day of exercise, gems will become more and more important because they give you a lot more power from that sneaker. But if you've got an efficiency base of 1.0 and you put a level two gem in it, 
then it's going to give you 70% of one. It's not a whole lot, whereas obviously a 9.0, something like that would be much better. So gems, socket bonuses, you won't see the socket bonuses because most people don't open them. This is a level 20 sneaker, so they've opened all of these sneaker gem sockets and should be using a level two resilience gem, should be using a level two efficiency gem, would make them much better. So when you're going to the marketplace, you're looking for something that has good base stats. If you can find it towards the floor price would be good. Um, picking the type of speed you want to go. Do you want to walk, jog, run, or a trainer? So this this might cost somewhere around two to three Solana at current market, current time of recording. A trainer might cost you five or six Solana. You might pay twice the amount, but you're never ever locked into just jogging. You can go whatever speed you want. You might be injured. You might want to start running, but you can only do a couple of minutes at a time. You might want to do intermittent training. You might want to do sprints and then jog it off. There's, there's so many ways that you can use the sneakers to be a part of your lifestyle. Don't base your lifestyle on playing the game two to three hours a day. Fit it into your life to make it a great generalized lifestyle. So there's many elements of the game to understand later on. You've got the mystery boxes. There is a lot to understand. A good site to go to is Crit. Um, Crit is awesome. In France, I've met him in Paris at the, at the French event, and he does the... Uh, the tinyurl.com. This gives a lot of really big statistics and uh, tells us what mystery boxes are dropping at what rates and all those kinds of things. So it ties in very well with the research once you get later into the game. So if you don't understand the mystery boxes, don't go boosting them at the start because you might spend a lot of GST and not be happy with what comes out of it. Go and research, watch some extra videos from my YouTube, all of those. The breeding system, simple but not simple. So you need two shoes together, um, to mint at the moment, two common sneakers with zero mints is 360 GST, 40 GMT, and two minting scrolls. So you can go and do the math on that, but you would breed two commons to breed another common. I do a video called the, the Zero One Mint Flip, and that shows you how to grow your vault into the next sneaker and the next sneaker. Sneaker synthesis isn't really a starting strategy, but um, it is very much out there. So you get a wallet. You put some Solana or some Binance in there. You then transfer that to your game spendings. You purchase your first sneaker. And then you've got up to 24 hours. You need your energy to refill. And you go outside and you move 10 minutes a day. That's the start, the basics of the game. It's absolutely amazing. Don't forget to check things like Discord. Um, make sure you do not go to unofficial sites. It's super important. When you go into Discord and Twitters, you can get so many different hacks, so many different um, people scamming the system and doing things. Look for the blue tick on Twitter. That will send you to the website. On the website, you can get other links to the Discord. But in the Discord, there's a lot of resources. And the game is about more than just getting outside and earning that GST. There's physical components to it. Understand do you need help with your training? Do you need some suggestions on what physical sneakers to get? One of my great learnings of the game was testing out different sneakers. I can run 20Ks an hour. Uh, uh, I can run a half marathon full session now. I'm planning my first marathon. So I've, I've been through the halves and that, and a lot of this has come from learning from awesome people in the community. Definitely make sure you look for the official stuff. When you create your first wallet, to be able to get to the stage to buy this. Never give anybody your seed phrase. Write it down on a piece of paper. Don't take a screenshot of that seed phrase so it gets uploaded to the cloud. Other people can get that and take advantage. Never give anybody your email password. Never give them access to your account. There's a whole lot of things at the start. So if this is your first video you're watching about how to play the game, then make sure you do a little bit of extra research. Understand what is the game. Go on research returns how much where the crypto market is at time try not to buy in at the top try not to sell at the bottom there's all of these basic crypto things but i absolutely love what the game's brought to my lifestyle um i love the fact that i as an ambassador in the community i get to help people on a daily basis i really enjoy the moving i love the fact that we've helped so many people um 
but it doesn't stop. We need to keep educating. We need to understand the game pivots very quickly. They may bring out new rules, new moving mechanics. We used to have only five mystery box levels in the game, but now there's 10. So that quickly changed the meta in the game to a luck meta. And that meant the luck gems were selling for a lot more. People were getting them, changing their sneakers, having all these kinds of things. So it's a game that is very, very in-depth. So spend that extra time. There's some great community resources. You can get all those from Discord. But um, yeah, hopefully I've helped. Hopefully I've given you a great start and an understanding to the basics. And um, really, really get out there, enjoy it. Be safe in your moving. Make sure you learn as much as you can. And as always, thank your mother for the rabbits.